Hey guys, I'm um, here in my houseboat Camino. I've got myself a new blender, but I'll give you a chance to have a quick look around because it's a nice view on the Gold Coast in the broad water. And obviously I try and keep things sort of minimal or the most efficient sort of products that I need to sustain my lifestyle. So I've been using my Vitamix for, a, God, about seven years now. This is the second Vitamix I've had. Always loved them, but I've always been really interested in the Optimum blenders because every review or comparison I've ever seen um, usually compares to the Vitamix because it's kind of sort of top of its field in the industry. But the Optimum blender basically, from what I can read, outbeats the Vitamix in terms of like the horsepower and the wattage that it can produce um, and at a much more reasonable price. So let's unbox this and we'll get into it. Okay, so I've just got it out of the box and comparing it straight away to my old Vitamix, um, I noticed that the new Optimum Blender is a 3.5 horsepower motor compared to the 2.2 of the Vitamix. So this one's gonna generate around 2600 watts compared to 1400 watts. Um, I also noticed that the Optimum Blender has a six blade design, so four at the top and two blades at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can quite see that compared to just the four blades of the Vitamix. Um, pretty important to me, um, Optimum promote that they have the, a Vortex blender, which helps basically create better smoothies because my smoothies that I'm gonna show you and that I use on a daily basis are pretty sort of dense, so, so dense, more food-based sort of smoothies. So it's really important to me that I be able to break up and, and uh, blend up all the ingredients so I'm not having sort of thick or gluggy type smoothies. Um, my smoothies come out really, really smooth with the Vitamix, so I'm actually hoping for an even better result with the Optimum Blender. Um, another thing that I noticed straight off the bat is the option of the time settings. So I believe there is a 20, a 35, and a 45 second setting, um, which is good because sometimes I can let the Vitamix get out of hand um, when I just turn it on and leave it on because because these are such powerful machines they can actually heat up the food hence why you can make soups and other dishes in them so um, that's going to be pretty handy for me I think to be able to just hit 45 seconds walk away and know that it's not going to get out of control and blend it up too much uh, so something that I just wanted to quickly touch on is the fact that the both of these models are at the higher end of the market um, I did spend my time with the cheaper blenders thinking that I'd get away with a cheaper model. But to be honest, when I try to incorporate them into my own personal nutrition plan where I use a blender at least twice a day, one with a more meal-based smoothie and the other with the micronutrient, um, sort of juice-based smoothie, um, the cheaper models, I simply wouldn't use them or I wouldn't drink um, the smoothie that I made because they'd end up too lumpy and glumpy. Um, I'm positive that the Optimum will do it. We're gonna test it out in a second. But yeah, the Vitamix definitely achieved that result of getting a smooth, nice, easy to drink smoothie. Okay, so I'm genuinely excited about this because I've been making this, what I call my micronutrient smoothie for at least the last seven years. So I'm really familiar with how the Vitamix makes it turn out. Um, so I'm looking forward to see how the Optimum blender goes. So I've got all my ingredients ready to go. Basically, I just try and, this is my little cheat sheet or hack of how I get my fruits and vegetables in. Um, I'm gonna start with a bit of orange juice. I try and put about a cup of orange juice in. Make sure it's just plain orange juice, just 100% oranges. Um, a good, I keep my spinach, my baby spinach frozen in the freezer. So I just get a good handful of that and throw that in. And this is why it's important to have a fairly good quality blender because these ingredients, you know, if you're gonna drink them, you want them to be quite smooth. You, you don't wanna feel the lumps and the bumps in your, in your smoothie. So I'll go sort a large carrot or one and a half carrots. A um, little bit of ginger, half a lemon. And I also like to throw in some blueberries. And then something that I've added recently is a company that I really, really love. Um, they're called Element. 
and basically they're an electrolyte company and they use sodium, magnesium and potassium um, in a fairly good ratio. So in this little packet I've got 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 uh, milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So one of my favorite product, products that I use daily. This is the raw unflavored version and now we get to go to work. I put on 45 seconds and fast. So that's just stopped itself after 45 seconds. Looks like that's been plenty of time for the blender to do its job. See how it pours, because that is one issue that I had with the Vitamix, didn't pour very well. Don't seem to have any problems with this. And that is my micronutrient shake. Which honestly, if anything, that's probably smoother then it comes out um, with the Vitamix. That's perfect. So I'm stoked that that worked really well. Okay, so I was really happy with how the micronutrient smoothie turned out. I just washed out the blender and filled it up with 750 ml of water. Uh, the Optimum Blender makes that really easy because it's got all the measurements on the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make my macronutrient smoothie this is going to be a really good test for the blender because once again, I know how the Vitamix makes it turn out. So I'm really interested to see how the Optimum Blender uh, makes my macronutrient smoothie turns out because this is a big one. Um, it's a bit of a challenge for blenders. So uh, I'll start with, now keep in mind that I'm a large male that has goals of strength gains and muscle mass gains. So I'm looking for a lot of protein and a lot of calories. This is enough to make three smoothies for me. So don't freak out when I show you I've got 12 eggs that I just scramble and cook and then cool them. Um, so I just scramble and cook them in the microwave and cool them overnight. So I'm gonna throw this straight in there, 12 eggs. Uh, I've got more blueberries to go ahead again. Just about a handful of blueberries some honey. Now trust me when I say this doesn't taste as bad as it sounds or looks. I'll go about two bananas, depending on the size of the bananas. After the two bananas, I stick with uh, spinach, so spinach is pretty much my go-to green leafy vegetable. So you notice I have it in the micronutrient smoothie and the macro. So again, just about a good handful of spinach. Starting to fill up. I know that this works out perfectly because it's a two liter jug and I've done this for about seven years. So I'll go th about three heaped tablespoons of Natural Greek yogurt. I like that for its good fat, calorie content, bit of protein in there too, and of course probiotics. And then I'll just finish that off with um, three 30 gram scoops of protein powder. And now we're getting to the brim which I knew we would, but I tend to nail this every time. So once again, we throw the lid on. I'm gonna hit fast and let it do its thing. All right, so let's see how that turned out. I'm pretty familiar with this one. Should be almost perfectly three of these blender cups. No issues with pouring. Yeah. 
and this is going to turn out perfectly. Because of the nature of my job, sometimes I find it hard to sit down and have a solid meal. So this is a really easy way to make sure I'm still getting all the macronutrients that I need and all the calories that I need on a daily basis. And I mean, I can't ask for much more than that in a blender. So second run with the Optimum Blender, no dramas at all. The kind of quality that I expected from the reviews that I've read, um, I can't complain. So I'm going to look forward to sort of switching things up and going with the Fruity Optimum Blender.